ngian bingelele kamini ngam misene le ndutana ne ngwa moyo ingwele amen okuthula makube nani just the other day i was watching a tv and then ngibukele umama ehlushekiswa ngimngane yakhe na 14 years old this child has turned into a drug addict and my concern is that the community obaba omkhulu the police we take advantage of the situation salentomba zanyane ncane eh they were feeding their destructive behaviors on this teenager instead of helping her by protecting and working together with the mom now in fikisela ekthene we are living in a community whereby abantu besilisa babulala abantu besifazane babulala izingane now the question is uwathathaphi amandla nesibindi sokuthi ubulale umphefumulo fakwe ngu Jehovah in Genesis 1 verse 27 unkulunkulu uthi wamdala umuntu ngomfanekiso wakhe wamdala ngomfanekiso kankulunkulu wabadala la oyisilisa no esifazane pho unkulunkulu esemdalile umuntu yingani wena ubona kukuhlu ukuthi uthatha umphefumulo okanye uhlukumeze umphefumulo womuntu esifazane bantu besilisa ngikhuluma nani at this moment ngikhuluma nani ngenhliziyo ekhlungu ngikhuluma nani ngijulile ngenxa yokubona izimo esibhekene nazo siphila kulo mhlaba osushintshile now i want to talk about something namhlanje ekuseni indaba yami ngizoyiphi isihloko esithi uphenduke kanjani asivuleni incwadi zethu sizovula encwadini ka Jeremiah u Jeremiah 2 verse 21 yona ifundeka ngale ndlela Jeremiah 2 verse 21 mina ngakutshala ungumvuni omuhle imbewu elungileyo kodwa pho uphenduke kanjani waba yigatsha elona ke leyo kimi elomvini wabezizwe na makubuse sokufunda kwezulu kankulunkulu uphenduke kanjani waba yigatsha elona ke leyo labezizwe na uma ngabe namhlanje usukhona ukuba nala uma monstrous behaviors ngakudala uthandeka as women we are living in fear everywhere we go because death can strike any time whenever we go we fear from our loved ones because abantu abasithandayo who claims ukuthi bayasithanda yibona who are hurting us the most even at churches where people should find spiritual healing and restoration kids and women are prayed upon daily by people whom god had made to care for them banakekele inzala abantu banakekele lesi sizwe esithakathaka esingabantu babesifazane these days when you enter a relationship as women it being professional or personal with a man it's like coming out of water and sitting on an electric chair ready to be tortured for the rest of your life and the end result is death ushintshe kanjani waba yileli gatsha elona kele yona Muntu wesilisa ubshiye phupha uNkulunkulu bakho. The Bible says uNkulunkulu wamdala umuntu wesilisa nowesifazane ngomfanekiso wakhe. Ubushiye phupha uNkulunkulu bakho. Umuntu wesifazane uyisitsha esibithakathaka. Stop gender based violence. Stop violence altogether. Bakuthi bomama besilila bazolila bafundise neingane zabo kulila babubule ku Jehova bangathuli ngoba nako kungangenzeki kubo khala uhlupheke ngeinsizo zibona ezweni impilo yodwa minze Lord ukuthi ngazi lahleke esandleni somuntu wesilisa uma ngabe amakristo asajatuliswa ukuthi alala kuze kuse then there is a huge problem in our behavior as christians sithanda zanini where are we interceding why are we so comfortable in the uncomfortable situation why are we not bothered by all this ill situation demons are busy turning our men into monsters and yet You are happy to sleep through the night as Christians. Singo bani ma Africa. Where does this monstrous behavior come from? Ushinje nini? Wabayile ligatsha elona kele yona. 
ikatala bezizwe ngakudala ngomfanikiso wami ake ngikhulume nawe umuntu wesifazane thatha amandla wakho vuka wembatha amandla wakho you are given the power evele kha yezulwini you might be physically ungabi namandla kodwa uma sesifika in the spiritual warfare nipiwa mandla let me tell you ngalo mzuzu ukuthi impe esibhekene nayo ayiyone yenyama kodwa kuyimpi kamoya ake sibuyele ni kujehova sikhale kujehova uyakuzwa umthandazo wethu wethembisile yena wathumi sizithoba kuye uyakuvula indlebe zakhe alalele sekhaya ezulwini bese uyaliphilisa izwe lethu ngoba izwe lethu liyagula izwe lethu liyamdinga uJehova o baba baphendukisizwe esibula lingane nabantwana abo baba bazwisa ukuhlungu even in the workplaces if ufuna umsebenzi these days the men who are supposed to provide for abantu besifazane who are meant to protect them bakjele ukuthi uzonika hani in return i'm talking about the leaders spiritual leaders economical leaders aba holy whenever they see a vulnerable woman bamenza isiqila ngoba ebthakathaka umuntu wesilisa uphenduke nini waba igatsheli bina uphenduke nini waba ilesisitsha esingasadleli uwathatha phamandla nesibindi sokuthatha nokuhlukumeza umphevumulo wesifazane ake ushintshe namhlanje ekuseni egameni lika Jesu Kristu wase Nazareth sikhuluma ukuphila phezu kwesimo esikhona ezweni lakithi sikhuluma ukuphila phezu kwesimo esikhona emhlabeni jikelele kunonkulu wawudala umhlaba phezu kwezilwandle wawumisa phezu kwemifula ungubani wena ukuthi ungaphendula lokho kudalwe ngunkulunkulu na bantu besifazane nangalesi sikhathi ujehova use isiphephelo sethu lapho izinimo zivuka lapho kuphela ithemba ujehova ukhona ungalahli ithemba ungalahli ithemba mntwana sekhaya ungadikibali ungalali kuze kuse ungakhathazekanga ngesimo esibhekene naso ake uthi nje ngomkristu noma ngabe le ndaba ingaqonda ngango kodwa uma ngabe uzwa kukhulunyiswa sasa kungangimi sasa kunganguwe vukuthi abathi amandla wakho wembathi ngubo yakho yamandla khuleke ukhona uJehova uyosizwa indlebe yakha ithibekile ukuba ngezwe imthandazo yethu uphakeme kakhulu ngezikhathi zonke futhi usidinga lapho inhliziyo zikhlungu uyalalela ngoba ngujehova wezwi lakhe wethembisile wathi uzoba nathi masihlaleni kujehova ngaso sonke isikhathi unkulunkulu anenze kahle anigcina nilonde jehova shintshe imindset yethu ayenze ibe ngengcwele ujehova lilonde ukuphuma kwethu sihambe migaqweni avikele ingane zethu azashintshe lesi simo sobaba in jesus mighty name amen